What's going on, college basketball fans? It's Tori, and welcome to five low seeds that could make the final four. We're gonna be looking at seeds five or lower that I think have a legitimate chance at busting brackets and making a run to the final four. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at ToriJonesYT. I'll be tweeting out my thoughts about the college basketball tournament. And with that, let's jump into the first low seed that I think has a chance to make the final four. And that is Auburn, a team who in my first initial bracket I had in my final four, I probably won't go that far. That's a pretty bold pick, but they definitely have a legitimate chance to make a run this year. Their scoring is so potent and they're well coached by Bruce Pearl and they're hot at the right time. This reminds me of teams like Michigan last year, who was a three seed that made the final four and teams like UConn back in 2011. That was a three seed that made a run to the final four where they won their conference tournament against some good competition and were hot going into March Madness and Auburn beat Tennessee by 20 in the SEC championship game and they really showed how dangerous they are as a team. You got some legit players, Jared Harper and Chuma Okiki are two of my favorites and Chuma Okiki is a borderline first round pick next season. This dude is an NBA talent. He can shoot, he can drive, he's tall, he's lanky and it starts with him. But Jared Harper at 5'11 is just a dynamite guard who despite his size he's able to attack the rim well he just bowls his way in the air into big men and still somehow finishes he can hit shots and I don't think their bracket is that tough Kansas has looked awful lately and they might be less of a threat than Auburn's first round matchup which is the 12 seed New Mexico State and then you got UNC I think Auburn can definitely hang with North Carolina they have the speed they have the athleticism to be able to play that pace and then in the elite eight they'd face Kentucky Kentucky, they just beat Tennessee who beat Kentucky. I think Auburn can definitely make a run to the final four. From the same bracket, my second team is six-seeded Iowa State, who just like Auburn is playing their best basketball of the season at the right time. And Iowa State has a ton of talent. They've just played super inconsistent and haven't seemed to be able to put it all together. Lindell Wigington is one of the best sixth men in the country. Taylor Horton Tucker is a future NBA player who is a lockdown defender and showing more and more flashes of potential on the offensive end and just turned 18. He's been steadily improving all season. Mariel Shayok is one of the most efficient players in college basketball, and he's a lethal shooter and a lethal scorer. And this is a team that you definitely need to watch out for. I think that region with Auburn and Iowa State and even Houston, who is a solid sleeper team as a three seed, could be totally totally crazy. From the second round on, I think that will be the most upset heavy region in my opinion. The third team I have is Villanova, and I might not even pick them to win the first round, but when you're talking about a team that's won two of the last three championships, has a championship head coach in Jay Wright, who right now might be a top three college coach with Coach K and Coach Cal. And when you got guys that are finally showing some comfort in their roles as star players and big time scorers and Eric Paschal and Phil Booth, that's a recipe for a team that I think could make a little bit of noise. Their side of the bracket, I'm not too confident in either. Purdue always seems to struggle in the NCAA tournament. I'm not a big fan of their team. That's a team that Nova could definitely take care of. And then you're looking at Tennessee or maybe Cincinnati, and I'm not super impressed with either of those teams. I think Cincinnati will beat Tennessee, but if you're talking about a 7 seed in Cincinnati, who probably isn't more talented than Villanova, then they could definitely advance from there. If they get Tennessee, Tennessee's been struggling lately. I think that would be a more even matchup than people think. And then in the Elite Eight, you'd either have Virginia or another team that probably isn't more talented than Villanova in a Kansas State or Wisconsin or maybe even in Oregon. But if it is Virginia, we've shown how they've collapsed in previous years. I wouldn't put it past Villanova to be able to exploit Virginia's deficiencies that they've shown in past tournaments to be able to make the Final Four. Next, we do have seventh seeded Cincinnati, who I just talked about. And that's more just me not having much confidence in that region at all. And me thinking Cincinnati matches up really well with Tennessee. I think Cincinnati has a very good chance at making the second weekend of the tournament and making the Sweet 16. And then they'd go up against Purdue or Villanova. As I said, they're probably not more talented than Villanova or Purdue, but I still think that's a very even matchup. And then once you get into the lead eight, like I said with Villanova, 
You get Virginia or you get a team that's not that good that's making a Cinderella run and you definitely have a chance if you're able to get to that spot. I think Cincinnati definitely has the defense to make a run. The question with them is just whether or not they're going to be able to hit shots. If they do hit shots, this is possibly a top 10 team in the entire country. So if they hit shots, they could definitely make a run to the final four. And then last but not least, we have eighth seeded Syracuse. And this is based a lot off reputation. They always seem to make a run as a low seed. And going up against Baylor in the first round is going to be a challenge, but I think it's a challenge they'll be able to take care of. And then you're looking at a team in Gonzaga who just lost to St. Mary's and has been known to have some tournament letdowns. Syracuse beat Gonzaga in the NCAA tournament a couple years ago. That was a 10 versus 11 seed matchup, but Syracuse has done it before. Gonzaga has a lot better personnel and is a lot more prepared in terms of the way they play for a team that plays zone like Syracuse, but that zone can give the best teams in the nation fits. And that's really what it need to do for Syracuse to make a run. If they beat Gonzaga, you're looking at teams like Florida State, Marquette. If they advance past there, you're looking at a team like Michigan or Texas Tech. Michigan Michigan is a little bit suspect offensively in my opinion and that zone could definitely shut them down if they're able to extend on the couple of shooters that Michigan does have and then if they're able to score against that Michigan defense Syracuse could make the final four we've seen it before with them as a 10 seed so I wouldn't put anything past Jim Beheim and that Syracuse orange team there's definitely a few eight nine maybe even 10 seeds that you can look at as having a chance to make the final four I just think Syracuse is the most likely so let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below let me know if you think i missed on any sleeper teams and just give me your thoughts check out all the other march madness content that i'll be making and with that i'm out of here this has been tori i'll see you college basketball fans later peace out